Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 101, and we've got Last Man Standing uh, this week, which is not what I wanted. I wanted just a, a nice road to glory. I hate road to glory, but I'd have honestly preferred a road to glory over Last Man Standing. But nonetheless, it is Last Man Standing. It is for uh, Roman Reigns of all people, and uh, it's been out for what? Six, seven, about seven hours now. Um, I think I've done decent, uh, as you can see I'm ranked 44 at the moment, um, which is not too bad, I'm at uh, 140 something or 150,000 uh, points, 140,000 points, uh, which puts me in like 46 now, um, so let's say, yeah you see all of these guys are fairly close to me, where's like there, where's there a big leap? Ah, uh, even the 50s, the 60s, yeah, this is not, no big leaps here. Um, I can't see further than 21, let me go up here. I just want to, like, everyone's like, a thousand to two thousand above the next guy. I want to, uh, let's see where there's a big, big drop, so 70s, 80s. That's a five thousand gap there. Um, but it's all fairly close, JB's up there, very, very nice. Iconic Peyton was first a while ago, um, so yeah, it, yeah. There's no huge, huge gaps. I saw what 5,000. I'm not sure if that's the one I saw. There's another one there. If that wasn't, uh, apart from yeah, second and first is, uh, is obviously the biggest gap there is. Uh, again, two and three. There's a big gap, but like a couple front runners. Um, I'm confident if I keep playing, um, I know I'm working tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, um, uh, so I'm, I will be at work all those days, that's why I wanted to try and get the most I could today done, um, I'll have a bit of time to play the next couple of days, of course I will, but not as much as I will today, um, but that said, I'm confident I can get a top, top 100, top 400, um, would be, I, I, I'd accept a top 400, I'm looking more for a top 100 card, um, top 200, top 300, uh, anywhere below like four or 500, I'd be very, very disappointed as this will be the best card in the tier. Uh, it will be for a while at least, either until the next LMS or probably could be the best in, in, the, in the tier for the remainder of the tier. So it's gonna be an important card to get and of course I want it to be good enough like you know, I want, it, I, want it, I want to have a good one. I don't want to come across thousands better than mine or hundreds better than mine in King of the Rings. So I will try for a top 100. It will be very hard. I'm willing, yes, to spend a bit of credits on it because I know that's what it takes. Um, but I don't absolutely want to go crazy on it. Uh, nowhere near uh, what I did for Triple H, of course. But I still want to get myself a strong Roman that will be able to help me out massively in this tier and not get beaten by all the others. But that said, I have got a plan and pack. So let's go and open this. Um, I know I've gotten lucky in my last one, um, but is it too much to ask for two in a row? I highly, highly, highly doubt it. I don't think I've gotten two in a row since they made uh, Battleground uh, a chance of the tier below or the tier you're in now. You know, back in, what was it, 33 tier, that's kind of why 33 tier got a bit killed quickly, and obviously it did last ages, but Battleground was giving you guaranteed WrestleMania, so... Yeah, I don't think since then I have gotten a back-to-back. -back. Um, maybe one of you um, can, maybe if you if you know I have gotten one since, then correct me, put it down in the comments, but I not that I can recall, so can we make this a record? No, no, it's the worst. <coughs> it is the worst possible back. I really wish that uh, Van Dango was a Tyler Breeze because he's the only Titan I haven't got yet. That's the Miz, of course. Um, can, yeah. I'm not sure if this can be a female, but if it can, Alexa. Seth, Seth, Seth. Not sure if I've got you proed. Not sure if I have you proed, but I'm, I will check. I know um, it's either Titan or 33, Seth, that I needed to pro. Yeah, well, it's clearly... It is clearly the the Titan, Seth, that I still have uh, have yet to pro. Um, of course, I have this Harper still I need to pro. It will help me in LMS. Uh, that's one thing as well that I forgot to mention when talking about LMS. I'm starting to struggle. I'm starting to struggle with my unbalanced deck. Um, of course, you, you still can't swap cards out, so there's nothing I can do on that front. Um, but yeah, I definitely struggle. Um, 
Triple H at the moment is kind of acting like a Goliath uh, pro just because the Goliath cards, they've got a slightly under-leveled, um, which beat all my 34 events and stuff like that, but Triple H can get the upper hand on them, so he's almost like uh, a fourth of the time being, but I need Luke Harper in there, it will definitely boost me up even more, and then Asuka, uh, mainly Asuka, because she's the only uh, up or down arrow here, she is, uh, she's messing my females up a lot. That said, of course, my Alexa, because she's an automatic win, but of course, she has made everything unbalanced in uh, in the female kind of uh, area. So it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to keep winning from here out. But I'll see what I can do. Um, that might limit to how much I can play and to what rank I can get my Roman Reigns at. So we'll just have to wait and see for that. I've been slowly grinding along uh, in Royal Rumble. I see it was a mistake last week uh, and the week before to only get like two and three momentum slots. So I'm going to try and get four momentum slots, best chance to have in Royal Rumble to do so, uh, as it's very quick. Uh, well, games aren't quick, but uh, levelling up, getting higher momentum is fairly quick. Um, but yeah, I realised that if LMS kind of slows down and I can't progress in there anymore, I'll just play some Royal Rumble, make sure I can get myself some more momentum slots. And, and definitely use Royal Rumble to train up my uh, my Harper. So that's gonna be it, guys. It's just gonna be a short video. Um, no no gameplay really, because um, well I could I could play one. No, actually I could play one game. Last man standing. That's always a possibility. So let's do that, and we'll end the episode. Just a short episode, um, showing a bit of a bit of a quick update to where I'm on LMS, um, and of course the platinum pack, but. Seven obstacles at the moment, um, and of course, female tag. So I, d I, n I don't normally get Alexa and Asuka together, actually, that's pretty funny. Um, I, I don't mind that, that way. They kind of, yeah, I can carry Asuka to the win with Alexa. Um, so I've got a strategy, just play, uh, at, at, well, not, not all the time, but at this stage with this many obstacles, it's stupid to reveal straight away, and then just like, what, chuck on a multiplayer or something. So I like to find I like to find a couple obstacles first, then use the reveal all, and then if there are enough cards on the board, uh, chuck on a multiplier so I can get some extra points. But that's not always, it's not always a guarantee. Um, so you can see, you can see that these Goliath card stats are, are definitely getting up there, and, uh, and I'm more than capable of beating my heroic pros. So um, for now, for now I still can do something about it, but if, if it keeps getting tougher and tougher, tougher and tougher the difficulty, um, then at one point I'm going to have to just stop because I can't do it unless I would be willing to delete all, uh, well, mainly my Alexa, I'd say. But I'm not willing to do that, so no, I'm good. I'll take a slightly weaker Roman Reigns um, for, for that, it's fine. A lot of people m ha ha must be in the same boat as me with, uh, with their unbalanced females, so maybe, maybe it'll, it won't be too bad. Um, so three cards, no obstacles found, there's the first one, of course I lose the, the points that I had saved up, that's fine. Hopefully we can find a couple in a row here, we can't, a bit unlucky there. When you want to find obstacles, you don't, and when you don't want to, you find them, of course. Give me an obstacle here. There we go. I need one more, and then I can throw a reveal on. No, it's not going to be there. Tag, tag. Uh, we'll do Triple H with Elias. Uh, Grand Metal League is uh, fairly high there, but it's still winnable. Uh, fairly comfortably, that game. Come on, there we go, we got the obstacle, so now we can throw on a reveal, a block, and a multiplier. And now, I should, in theory, if I don't lose more games, get what I need um, point-wise to uh, level me up to maybe top 40 even, if this is a good game, and I don't uh, lose games. Because now backing out is, uh, well, it's not working for me, I'm not sure if it's working for any of you, um, I... It's, it's not working at all for me, it's not that I'm not doing it too late or something, I'm doing it straight away when I know I'm going to lose, uh, not when I have to like calculate and do it a bit late, but no, like it doesn't work, you come back with an X on the board, um, so that on top of the difficulty has changed, which means I don't have a million attempts or, or 20 attempts, I've got one attempt, I lose, I lose it, and that sucks, uh, I've lost a couple games on that where I had like thousands of points saved up, I could be no joke, at this point I could be about top 30 if I didn't get unlucky in a couple situations 
uh, like once it was 6,000 XP and like 8,000 XP, just a lot of XP um, to be losing. Um, so yeah, it's not, it wasn't cool, but it is what it is. LMS is this now, again, every, I'm not the only one who's going to be struggling with that, so um, it should, at least it's even and on a, on a, I want to say a fair playing field, on a, on a level playing field, there we go, because it's not really fair. Um, for for them to announce they were taking Last Man Standing out or whatever, uh, and then for us to have one like this short after they said that they was going away for a while, we didn't really go away at all. Uh, we just had the the same old two events, and then what went back to a Last Man Standing. Uh, yeah, I think it was four weeks instead of three weeks, but I thought they would have changed it up, changed how it works, well, not not how everything works. The, the concepts, okay. Just the mechanics, the the little things, the the I think there's too many obstacles. The this, the maybe letting you have a, a balanced deck in these kind of things, so you're not, you know, so you can grind it, and you're not just at a halt for some just because you can't advance it anymore. That's not that's not fun. No one wants that. People wanna people wanna grind for shit. Um, I'm not saying to make everything easy and obtainable for everyone, but make it so you can play, at least. Make it so you can advance and shit. Um, and stuff like that, uh, they had, it, to my knowledge, nothing has really changed, except uh, when you get your points and shit, it says how many obstacles are remaining and how many cards are remaining. Now, that might have been there before, or maybe I just didn't notice it. You see, just right here, obstacles remaining, cards remaining. I didn't see that before. Um, when I when I played the last couple of LMSs, but um, yeah, to me that's the only that's the only fucking change I can see. And um, there we go, bloop, just out of my mind. I uh, I saw that. So yeah, rip. Um, but yeah, it's just it's. It, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought I thought it was gonna come out fresh, revamped, uh, and a bit more fun to play and less uh, less costy, less. Uh, less how many credits can you spend, you know, more than like how much are you willing to grind. It's, it's more about spending than grinding, I feel, when the other events buy a little bit, but tip it more to the, the grinding than the spending. RTG and RD, it's more of a grind to get the card. Yes, maybe spend a bit of money, but it's not like excessive amounts, and you could, you could probably realistically do it for very very little money uh, obviously maybe not if you're going for the heroic but yeah some of you might say you can do last man standing for very little money you can but you most likely would not be getting a roman reigns and if you were going to get a roman reigns i guarantee you it's not going to be a good good roman reigns it won't be for me good good like at the point i am in this game the fact that i want to get and uh, want to challenge i want to be one of the top players in this game um for me, I don't, uh, top, but everything below top 1000 would be just, for me, crap. Like, of course, if you're in, in ultimate tier, and it's amazing, isn't it? But, yeah, and even if I got, like, 900 or something, I wouldn't be happy with that. But, um, God, I forgot the point I was trying to make. Um, yeah, yeah, of course, the little money for an LMS, you could get, you could get something decent. Am I going to lose this game, by the way? That would suck. Thank God. So I just realised I hit my block as well, so anyway, uh, we got three cars left on the board. Um, so yeah, I am just I am overall disappointed to see that there hasn't been much uh, change in this event, and uh, hopefully they uh, they will actually do something um, with it. If uh, hopefully, hopefully other people out there will, will agree with me that there should be less obstacles, um, you shouldn't be put to a complete halt really if your deck's unbalanced, because that kind of makes you not want to pro some cards and it kind of takes the fun out of some shit. It's like, oh, do I pro my Alexa and Money in the Bank? Do I, let, should I not? You know, this. And it just you, When you get good cards, you want to pro them. You want to put them in your deck. But LMS kind of makes you afraid to have a better deck than you could, you know, if you didn't care. So, yeah, I think that concept's a bit stupid. I think um, they definitely should fix. That's, the for me, the major priority in Last Man Standing. Uh, make it so you can have balanced decks, so make it so you can swap out your cards. I'm not saying that maybe they can find a way for doing it, like so the common and un uncommon method um, isn't effective here, but still, you know, something that you could do to have balanced decks, maybe. I don't know. They, they can figure it out. They're the ones who are meant to make this fun to play, not me.
And we're good. For a sec there, I was like, oh crap, it's all gonna, it's all, we're all gonna lose it on the last game, but we're good. Um, got the points. This is a huge, huge game for me there. 8,000 points. I guarantee that will take me up quite a bit. Um, you won't be able to see it because it takes 15 minutes to. To, uh, what's the word? Refresh, but I can show you. I'm at, what, 152 now, so we can go on the leaderboards and see where 152 would put me. Obviously, maybe a little bit lower because of the fact that everyone else will put them, well, some people would have gotten some points. Um, so, yeah, 152. Yeah, it'll put me about, yeah, about about here, about 40th, below, maybe just below 40. So it will take me up a good, at least eight uh, ranks higher. So that was a good game there. I'm just gonna have to keep grinding this out. Um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a long, long day. Um, I kinda wanna get a bit of Fortnite in there as well, cause not only do I care about obviously getting the room range, but I also care about getting um, the lights on the Omega skin, which I need level 80 on Fortnite for that. So yeah, uh, I didn't want this to be a long episode, but of course, one game of Last Man's Dining, like 50 minutes. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on an upload. Um, like the video, comment down below anything. I want to hear from you guys, what you guys think about Last Man's Dining, the Roman Reigns event card, or just the event in general. Leave it down below in the comments. Uh, subscribe, of course, if you're new around here. Don't forget to catch the streams. Links in the description. I'll see all of you guys very soon. Till then, take care and peace out.